Unit 3A study guide numbers 12, 13, and 14. So in number 12, the table shows the amount of money you earned, E, after working so many hours. What are the domain and the range of the function? So domain is our inputs, which is the hours. So we would just list that as 7, 8, 9, and 10. I'm going to go ahead and put them in set notation. Earnings, my 8 is not very good. Let's try that again. 8, there we go. Earnings is 64, 65, 68, and 73. So put domain and range. 13, identify whether the tables represent a linear or a nonlinear function. Explain your reasoning. So first, at the first table, I'm going to look at my inputs and just make sure that I am increasing in even intervals. And I am. Everything is a plus 1. So now I'm going to look and see if I am either increasing or decreasing by a common amount each time. So 1 to 3, that is plus 2 plus 6. So right away I can see this is plus 18. I can see that I am not increasing or decreasing by a common amount. So that is a nonlinear function. Linear is going to increase or decrease by a common amount. So now my second table. First of all I look at my inputs and I see if I have even amounts, which I do, I'm adding one each time. So now I'm going to look and see if either I'm adding or increasing or decreasing by a common amount. So 3 to negative 4, I'm going to subtract uh, minus, ne minus 7. No. Negative 4, okay, the difference there is I'm subtracting 7. So each time I'm subtracting the same amount. So that is a linear function. And now I need to fill in the missing values. So first of all, I look at my inputs. I increase by 1, by 1, but here I'm increasing by 3, and then here I am back to 1. So Every time I increase by 1, I need to go up 3. So I'm going to add 3, so this will be 6. Now from 2 to 5 is actually 3 steps, and I go up 3 each time. So I am going to need to go up 9. And now I'm just increasing by 1, so that means my range is up 3, 18. So if you think about what would be right in here, my input of 3 would be 9, my input of 4 would be 12, and then 5 is 15. And so that would be steady increasing to create a linear function.